Welcome back to Detail Garage. Today we're starting off the full detail on this BMW 5 Series by cleaning the wheels. You can see these wheels and rims are full of brake dust, dirt, grime and debris. They're all black full of all the burnt carbon and brake pad material. So we need to take all this off so that we can clean it up and it doesn't cause any corrosion on the wheel. Now, uh, all of the vertical surfaces all the way deep into the wheel barrel are full of this uh, contamination. So I'm going to take it all down with some sticky citrus wheel gel. Now this is a sticky cleaner that's going to cling on to any of that abrasive filth so it has more time to break it down and release it gently from the surface. It's an acid free cleaner. It's not going to cause any damage on the finish. It's safe for any type of wheel finish from the factory or any custom aftermarket wheel. I'm going to get started by rinsing down all this contamination. This is to take off any of the loose dirt and grime from the wheel, the tire, and the undercarriage around the wheel. You can see that I rinsed away just some of the loose dirt and grime. Now I'll go ahead and take my sticky wheel gel, just spray it all over the face of the wheel. Safe to get this on any sort of painted finish, chrome, polished aluminum, st stainless steel carbon fiber, any sort of wheel finish. I'm also going to spray it on the tire and a few sprays inside the wheel well. And you can see the cleaners already begin to foam up as it's working and it's sticking onto the face so that it's releasing the brake dust gently. Now I'm going to let this sit on the face of the wheel and inside the barrel and as that goes off to release the dirt, I'm going to go ahead and scrub the inside of the fender liner just so I have something to do while I let the wheel get cleaned up by the cleaner and take off any grime and filth. I always like to do this step. I like to clean out the wheel well, just so the area around the wheel is cleaner. You don't notice any filth sticking to it, and that sets the wheel off against the clean undercarriage. You're looking at the wheel, not the dirt around it. There we go. Much better. Now I have a, an assortment of brushes to clean all, all the different parts of the wheel. Start by getting into the barrel. I'm going to go past the spokes using a wheel woolly. It's a nice synthetic fiber wheel cleaning tool. I can get inside around the spokes and go deep into the barrel of the wheel. This also fits around any of the brake components like the calipers, the rotors. You can clean deep into the barrel of the wheel. So you see clean shiny wheel all the way through not just the brake dust inside on the barrel. After a few passes, your brush gets full of dirt. Go ahead and just rinse it out in your wheel bucket. I also have a dirt trap in the bottom of the bucket just to help control any of the brake dust and filth in the bucket. Hold it down at the bottom away from the cleaner water. There we go. And once I get all the areas between the spokes clean, it's time to move on to the face of the wheel. Now, I like to use a softer brush for the face of the wheel. Go ahead and grab my green flag tip brush here. Get some more of my soapy solution. I'm gonna spray some wheel cleaner directly into the bristles. A little bit of added cleaning power as I scrub the spokes. Scrub the spokes and the rim, and you can see all the foaming action. It's helping to lift and carry all the dirt and abrasive particles away from the face of the wheel. This is a great cleaner to use if you have a custom painted finish. It's more sensitive than a standard um, alloy wheel that has a baked on paint finish from the factory. You can use sticky gel and your favorite car wash soap in your bucket just to take down some of this abrasive grime before it can scratch your wheels. And just like everybody else, it's always hard to get deep into uh, the lug nut holes or the lug bolt holes in the wheel. So I like to use the best detail brush. It's a part cleaner brush to get inside there. I'm also going to spray some cleaner directly into the brush so I can get deep into the area around the lug bolts. There we go. See all the brown debris that's getting flushed out from there. It doesn't look like these wheels have ever been detailed all the way down into the lug nut areas. Very good. It's also great to use this brush around areas like the valve stem and any little parts that you missed on cleaning the face of the wheel. Finally, the last area that I like to clean, I'm going to get into the brake caliper because I hate looking 
And any performance car or any car with a custom brake caliper sensing brake dust all over it. This is fine to do on any OEM calipers that are not painted. You can agitate all the brake dust out from the textured metal parts here. The brush is very soft. You see it's a plastic handle and a plastic ferrule on this brush. So even if you knock into the side of the wheel, you're not going to scratch anything. So now that I have all this dirt and filth suspended on the wheel, I need to rinse it all away so it doesn't just dry in a new spot. So I'll take my hose again and rinse it all out. Now, all this is looking a lot better. You might notice there's some brown left over on the actual face of the tire. I want to scrub that off so when I put on some fresh tire dressing, it's not going to stick on top of the dirt, but it's going to stick directly into the rubber, last longer. You can also use the sticky wheel gel on any rubber parts, like you can put it on the fender liners, any suspension components underneath the car, or even the face of your tire. So I'll get a stiff, stiffy blue brush, spray the cleaner directly into the brush, then agitate it all out. You see all this foaming action, and all the brown filth getting released in the cleaner. Sometimes on new tires, you'll see some sort of a brown residue. That might be the uh, mold release agent that they spray into the actual tire molds when they're manufacturing the tires. Sticky wheel gel helps to pull all that out of even brand new tires as well. There we go. So this is one trick that professional detailers tackle. So when you go on to the finishing steps, your tire dressing will stick on better, look better for longer. And I can rinse off all this residue as well. And there we go. All the different parts of the wheel, tire, inside of the wheel barrel, and the undercarriage are all totally clean thanks to some sticky citrus wheel gel. Now, if you want to learn more about this product, you can check out it on our website. The links are right below in the description. If you want more top detailing tips and tricks inside and outside the car, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 900 videos showing you how to do just about anything. You got a nice car? Let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys. I have like three more wheels to clean.